guys know the question is why are frontals and closures very expensive actually it's because of COVID-19 COVID-19 you know it's highly difficult for us I mean for hair factories to import closures and frontals to China because all borders are closed and as a result most of the companies have run short supply of um, frontals and closures so the best solution for you all is T parts lace okay T parts lace to the right T parts lace now, everybody else is going in for T parts lace wig T parts lace wig is all your choice is all you can go for if you want to save your money and you know frontals are, exp are expensive these days so the best solution is to go for the teapot lace wig I'm going to slay this wig I'm going to cut the lace and then I'll come back with a very beautiful style Okay, so guys, I've got my tea pot lace wig right here on my head. Tea pot lace to the left, tea pot lace to the right. It's all about tea pot lace wig, and tea pot lace wig has come to solve the problem of lack of frontals and closures. Because of COVID 19, it's too expensive now to buy frontals and closures. So, why don't you go for tea pot lace wig? All the links and everything to this wig will be right there in the description okay so guys i'm going to go into details and cut the lace this is how beautiful the wig looks okay this is how it looks it's actually ear to ear lace and then from your forehead to the middle part of your head is the parting and it will actually remain like this but of course it's breathable air can still go under your head air can still go under your head this is very important because you want to get a very breathable wig and actually this is 150% density and I'm going to go right into the cutting of the lace but before I cut the lace I want to first apply my glue and then after applying my glue I'll go ahead and then cut the lace so first you need to identify your own edges and mine is right here my edges are right here and of course, uh, my forehead is right here. So I'm just going to pull this one a little bit backwards. Okay, so it's here, right? You can actually use a pencil to draw a line here so that you don't miss it. Okay, so that you don't miss it. It's, you can do it in so many different ways. You can pull everything to the back. Make sure everything goes to the back. Don't leave anything in front of you. Let everything go backwards. And then you cut the lace. But you can also apply the glue first and then you cut the lace. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and apply the glue. But I always think that it is advisable for you to cut before you apply the glue because I'm going to, I'm using this kind of glue. Okay, 
So you just lift the hair here and then you apply the glue in bits. It also works perfectly well. All you need to do is to make sure you apply the glue. So any strategy you go with is perfectly fine. Teapots, let's to the right. Teapots, let's to the left. Teapots, let's come on. Teapot, let's come on. Teapot, let's. All right, so my glue is right here, and I'm applying the glue right here. Okay. Let's give the, lay, the the glue some time to dry. Okay. Give it some time to dry. I'm going to do the same thing right here. So it's going to go right from here. So you can wait for everything to dry, then you cover it. Or you can just cover it and dry everything later. Okay, so I am actually doing it like this. Okay, I'm actually going for it like this. I'm pulling it on it. This one on it like this.
right and then you identify this part okay so you give it time to hold firmly okay whilst you do other things so when it's done then i'll cut the lace i'll cut the lace like i'll finish the cut and the lace so this is the method i'm using in today's video and because i want to save a lot of time I'm just going to go ahead and do my straightening because I need to straighten my heel. Heel. What? So I'm going to go ahead and then straighten the hair. Right away. And then when I'm done, I cut the lace. Okay, so and this is actually 100% human hair. It is super, super soft. It is super, super soft. Wow, so beautiful. To the left, to the right. T part lace. And of course, the T, the pattern is right here, and it can only be this pattern. It's actually the middle pattern.
so guys this is actually the final look i just wanted to go with it in a very simple way i didn't do any baby hair i just wanted to leave it like this it looks good also like this and i'm going to take some pictures for you guys to see and of course this is actually 150% density and the hair this is 150% density and it's 613 blonde tea parts lace wig from wig genius hair we have got several other hairstyles with this particular tea lace wig and of course a tea lace wig has come to solve the problem that i always talk about lack of closures and frontals so please make sure you grab yours and you can also do a little bit of baby hair right here you can do a little bit of baby hair just make sure for example if you have hairs if you still have hair you can for example if i have this hair okay you can still cut the some parts of this hair and then you lay your baby hair if you want to lay baby hair but in this video i'm not laying baby hair i'm just doing it as simple as this which is also equally good for you to go without any stress let me hear from you guys in the comment section what do you guys think and see you guys thanks for watching